Hi, we're Cody and Laura, and for the past eight months, we've been living in our schooly tiny home on wheels, Tots the Bus. In recent weeks, we've encountered a few issues that need our attention, specifically that our fridge died. We had planned to visit Laura's family in Canada next, but we've decided to detour to New Jersey to stay with Cody's parents to get some projects done. Remember Wayne? Over the next few weeks, we'll prep and paint the bus, install a Max Air fan, figure out the fridge situation, and complete a few other projects, all while spending some quality time with family. Maybe we'll even do a little sightseeing in the area. So if you haven't already subscribed, this is a great time to do it. Make sure to ring that bell and get notifications each time we post a new video and get ready to see a brand new Tale of Two Smitties. But first, we had to get from Montana to New Jersey in just two weeks. Let's get to it. Good morning. We left around quarter to eight this morning from a Flying J that we stayed at in, I'm honestly not sure, I think it was Montana still. I don't think we're in Wyoming yet. Um, but we are really covering ground to get to New Jersey. I think we've already told you this, from Montana to New Jersey in two weeks, which is gonna be quite the haul as you know we both work full-time sometimes a little more than full-time Cody works on the YouTube video so if you see this if you've gotten to this point we really appreciate it give Cody some love for his hard work on all these videos hit that like button if you don't subscribe make sure you are subscribed click the bell for notifications all the things we so appreciate it and if nothing else it lets Cody know that you're here which boosts him and, and helps him in those long hours of the night that he's finishing up these videos. So we crossed into South Dakota a little while back, went through Sturgis, and now just kind of went through the Badlands area. Badlands is a national park. Unfortunately, because of our time frame, we don't have time to stop <laughs> basically anywhere. Um, let alone a national park that we'd want to spend a lot of time at. So here's a quick peek <laughs> at North Dakota, South, I'm sorry, South Dakota. We just got to this spot and uh, we made the decision, I don't know if it was the right decision, but we made the decision a couple days ago to just leave the fridge closed. Uh, it, we were trying to get it to kick on. It wasn't, it was starting to smell a little bit, even with the door closed. So we knew it was gonna be tough in there. But um, so now a couple days later, we've opened it. We had chicken and, and ground beef in there uh, and some vegetables. So actually the worst part of it, I think was some romaine lettuce that is just liquid and black and so anyway we're gonna take a look so if you're into that sort of thing we'll check it out if you're not maybe uh, skip ahead a couple seconds so this is that disgusting lettuce what's left of it so time to get to cleaning so this is what 12 hours in the bus looks like when it's 100 degrees in here so it's what 93 I think across South Dakota today and in the bus is about 197 98 most of the way it got a little hotter a little bit but this is what it looks like when everything's out of the fridge and we're wiping it off so uh, probably should have showed you the beginning of this but I just wiped off all the drinks that were in there all the film and stuff that was on them I don't know we're this is a play it by ear type of situation all this stuff may end up in the trash but for now we're cleaning the stuff that we think can survive some warm temperatures but anyway we'll get to it so i think we mentioned another time but every state's different with recycling so we've been in a tough spot because we, we, we were burning our cardboard originally but everywhere we've been has had a burn ban lately uh, and a lot of the states haven't had recycling. So we've been piling up our recycling, specifically cardboard boxes. So I'm gonna go throw this out because this is the state line with Minnesota and the rest area has recycling bins. Be right back.
Okay. We're pouring our home for the night. Getting a little snack too. So those trucks are in South Dakota and our bus is in Minnesota. There's the sign, the Minnesota state lines. I think it's a state line or is that just where the sign is? Just the sign, the state line. For the oh, dang it. All right, we're gonna check out for the night. Uh, we're gonna let Raleigh do her business in peace then get some things tidied up. I've got to finish the video before bed. So uh, anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. We'll show you the state sign and the rest of our drive to Iowa. Good morning and welcome to Minnesota. We missed the South Dakota sign when we got in on the west side. So we're gonna show it to you on the east side. Another good sized driving day done. We have arrived at our campsite. We are plugging in because of the heat. We really need to run our AC while we're working. So we are plugged in at a campsite, but we have a ton of space behind us, which is great for the dog. I'm always nervous about campsites because always our second campsite ever. Um, one of the reasons I don't like campsites is because the dog never has space to run. So this is perfect. We're getting the power, but also we have space for the dog and we'll get to fill up before we leave and dump a bunch of garbage. So it's gonna be good. Good morning. We woke up this morning at our campsite in Iowa and it may be hard to hear me because RAC is pumping and it feels so good. It is like, I don't know, 70 degrees in here, which it's been a while since it's been 70 when it's hot outside so um, we definitely made the right choice coming to a campsite and plugging in it's gonna be so much more comfortable for all three of us while we work all day today in the bus brought you dinner Aww, thank you, sweetie. a shake and a hot chicken sandwich market we just drove by and someone pulled out in front of Cody and he had to slam on his brakes and swerve out of the way we are three minutes from his house classic <laughs> I can't make this stuff up but this is where we are I don't know about you guys but this is not what I expected with New Jersey the first time I came here I was like wait why does everyone say it's so ugly it's so cute and pretty <laughs> After two weeks and 2,275 miles, we arrived at my parents' house in New Jersey. It's been hectic, so I think we'll leave things here. Next week, we'll dive into some projects, especially prepping for paint. See you then!